Hello everyone, I wanted to jump in here today and talk to you about your survival guide to living well. And of course what I'm talking about, it's my survival guide for living well, and uh, it would be of course talking about the word. So I am going to be talking to you today, and of course your survival guide in the word is from cover to cover, but we're going to just be talking about... Um, chapter Proverbs chapter 7 and it starts out by saying talking about the survival guide if you keep my commandments you will live in my law as the apple of your eye so is something that you really cherish something that you really care about you say unto wisdom you are my sister and call understanding your kinswoman or your close relationship your close relation meaning you are full of wisdom you are full of understanding um, and that is what happens when you, when you uh, do the will of, the, of God, when you keep the words in the survival guide. This is where this wisdom and this understanding comes from. Um, and then another thing that it says here, don't be a simple one. Somebody who's not very understanding and, and who has, is actually void of understanding, has no understanding at all because they don't care anything about the survival guide. They have the lust of the world, okay? So then you go into the meat of the story, the body of the story, and it is talking about this woman who the good man of the house, which this is the King James Version, that means her husband, he is leaving for an unspecified amount of time and coming back at an unspecified time. And so in the meantime, she makes, she ready, readies her house, she readies her bed. She perfumes it and puts, um, uh, covers, it, covers it with tapestry, fine linens from Egypt, uh, myrrh and aloes. She makes her bed because she is going out to find one of these simple ones, one of these people with no understanding who are lusting after the world. She's looking for somebody like that to go and cheat on the good man with, cheat on her husband with. Okay, cheat on the king, so to speak. Okay, this, this allegory. When you lust after the world and you go after the world, you are cheating on your king. What does the Lord say about this, actually? How does the Bible say that you can avoid the lust of the world? Well, he tells you, first and foremost, that we're supposed to seek after him first. Seek after my kingdom and my righteousness first, and I will give you all of these things, okay? So he will give you wealth in your health, wealth in your mind, and in your wisdom. And when you have that wisdom, people know that, people see that, that wisdom is coming out of your mouth because you have filled your well with his word. And then he fills you with wisdom and understanding. So the world comes to you. And then you are also, you also prosper. So seeking him first prospers you. Um, we want, what happens is we want our will to be done, okay? And that makes us, what that is, we're void of understanding. Because what makes us, gives us all of these things is seeking his will first, not ours. Seeking after his kingdom first, not ours. And then he gives us a kingdom become gives us a kingdom because we have come under his authority first. So what happens, so she goes after, the world comes after us um, and looks for the simple ones, looks for the ones who are lusting after the world and will come under her. And what happens when that happens? Well, it says here, um, with her much fair speech, uh, it causes us to yield. And with her flattery, we are, we are deceived, okay? We are deceived by the world. We are deceived by the lies of Satan. And we come, when we go un, unto the world, all the things, the bright, shiny, sparkling things that deceive us, that we think are going to give us pleasure, that we seek after. And what does that do to us? We go uh, after her straight away as an ox to the slaughter, basically. It is, it says here, um, her house is the way to hell. So the world is our pathway. 
straight to hell. God's kingdom is our pathway straight to prosperity in all the ways that matter here on this earth um, and eternal life as well. So we got to decide, um, do we want our will to be uh, done and then make our, ways with the, make our way with the simple, people who not have very much understanding going on, or are we going to turn that light bulb on and realize that when we do it God's way, we seek after him first, we understand his words and we live his words, that our whole world will change in a 180. Everything that we, we have always wanted, God gives it to us because we're no longer about pleasing ourselves, we're about pleasing him. And then he wants to please us. So I hope you guys found that helpful today. Um, and I will see you guys all again soon.